What's up guys, Kool-Aid here, and today we're going to start a little five-part series inside of the Infiltrator's Handbook series. What we're basically going to be doing is going over all the suit slot abilities and how I think they should be used, if they're any good, um, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, um, as, as far as it pertains to Infiltrator in particular. Now, the reason I'm doing this right now as opposed to before, you know, I've kind of mentioned all of these in passing at one time or the other. The reason I really want to go into detail right now is because they've pretty much all been changed either directly or indirectly one way or the other uh, over the last couple months. For instance, Advanced Shield Capacitor just received a nice buff. Um, grenade Bandolier had its values changed as well as you're allowed to carry one additional grenade now. Uh, even flak armor did not get changed necessarily however with all the nerfs to you know high explosive rounds and heat rounds and uh, just the nerf to tanks in general you know that might make flak armor a little less appealing so we're just gonna go over every single one of these in detail and we're gonna start with the grenade bandolier today so like I said grenade bandolier did have its values changed in game update 14 uh, it is going to cost 100 certs now to carry one additional grenade, 150 certs to carry two additional grenades, and then 500 certs for that last tier, which is going to allow you to carry three additional grenades or four grenades in total. Now, the major problem, as most of you probably know with Grenade Bandolier, is that it's incredibly hard to you know feed the resources it takes to actually use this suit slot. While using proximity mines or med packs or whatever you use, if you're, if you're using them consistently, which you should be, you're going to be going through quite a few resources. Now, oftentimes while I'm playing Infiltrator, I'll just switch out, you know, for an engineer to blow up a Sunday, use some AT mines quick, then switch back, and basically, you know, I'm using the resources of almost two classes while only really playing one class. So that is probably the biggest downside. To grenade bandolier another thing that I really don't like about it is that unless you are you know frequently using up all those grenades which are gonna cost you all those resources you are not getting a use out of that suit slot so if you're actually using them you know patiently in the proper spots where you're gonna get the most out of them you're kind of wasting a suit slot whereas where as if you had a nano weave or advanced shield capacitor you're gonna be getting a use out of those almost every time you respawn not every time you know sometimes it's just not gonna make a difference but you're gonna be getting more use out of those more frequently now having gone over some of the big negatives with grenade bandolier I don't think it's a complete waste of search I think it's one of them items where if you have most of the stuff you already want for Infiltrator and you mainly play Infiltrator, it might be a nice little addition to keep stashed on a separate loadout to bust out in real specific spots in the game. And I've been doing a little theory crafting where they would be real nice to use. Um, now if you're just playing solo, say you're in a bio lab and you have a stack stockpile of frag grenades. I don't use frag grenades on any of my classes, yet I still stockpile them up. So if I'm in a bio lab, a really crowded bio lab, and you know, I just want to try and cause some damage in a crowded room, you know, you might want to switch to that grenade bandolier where you have that stockpile of frag grenades and start chucking them. Another way where you could really get use out of it is a kind of coordinated grenade strike. Um, again, say you're in a bio lab, you're playing with a squad, you throw on the grenade bandolier, you start chucking EMPs into a crowded room, and at the same time you coordinate with at least one other person and have them start chucking grenades into another room or into that same room with EMPs. Those grenades that they throw in there are going to do a lot more you know killing only having to go through health as opposed to going through shields as well and you might be able to clear out rooms that way aside from that you know anytime you get a long kill streak going uh, an extra EMP or extra frag is definitely gonna come in handy I just think some of them other suit slots are gonna help keep you alive to get to those long kill streaks uh, just make it a little bit easier Now, one thing I am looking forward to is once they add in stalker cloak and add or fix decoy grenades fix or change decoy grenades depending on how you look at it and make them ping on the minimap just imagine how much fun it will be going into an enemy base with the ability to permanently cloak while having four decoy grenades to just throw out and completely confuse and mess with the enemy's head I am definitely looking forward to that I think that's gonna be an insane amount of fun and that's the reason why I don't regret buying the grenade bandolier upgrade so anyways guys that is all I have if you enjoyed this please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and as always guys thanks for watching I'll talk to y'all later